they say in Botswana, Dumalong. Welcome to the Kalahari Game Reserve and African Re Refuge. This is the largest reserve in Botswana. Every year, thousands of people travel here from all over the world to experience the African safari, as well as see many other amazing animals here in God's beautiful creation. We have some new interns joining us here today. Let's go meet them and show them around. Hi, I'm Addison. You know, my parents say that being late is so unprofessional. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I just got a little lost on the way. I'm sure it's okay, Liam. You still gonna be a part of God's plan. I'm Shelby, by the way. <laughs> and I'm Mason. Man, I'm stoked to be here. Yeah, I can tell. And where'd you get that shirt? Not a spy? Totally hilarious. Oh, I don't remember. It's Target? Definitely makes you look nice, but I can't be trusted, though. No. <laughs> now, I'm just kidding, man. Welcome to the team. But you will be needing a uniform before we get started. Everybody stay here and keep being acquainted. I'll go get you one. Well, until she gets back, I guess that means that I'm in charge. After all, I am the junior supervisor. Wait. This is written in crayon. Ugh. Junior supervisor since when? Oh, it's implied. My parents have been sponsoring this refuge since before I was born. Like when things were still in black and white. That means they donate. Financially. Oh. Exactly. Okay. So I feel like just here to check up on the work that's being done. Cleaning out the animal pens and stuff. Don't expect me to do any of that. I'll just junior supervise. Come on, Addison. If we're all gonna get along here, it's important we all have good attitudes. Showing up as an intern and saying you're not gonna do the intern work, that's a good attitude. That's not gonna help anyone. 
He's right. Cleaning out animal pens may not be the most exciting or glamorous job in the world, but if that's what we're supposed to do, then it makes sense to do it the best we can and to be cheerful about it. I know you're right. My parents and my tutor and my beautician tell me all the time that I need to work on my attitude. I'm working on it, okay? <sighs> Just sometimes I forget that I'm working on it and need a reminder. So you guys can remind me if you know something about attitude. <laughs> so we can just remind you whenever. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, Addison. Oh, no. You have a bad attitude. How about, we should probably have a code or a signal or something to let her know just in case we have to be set on this hey. That's a good idea. What should the signal be? Oh, how about a kick in the shin? Just a soft one. No, if you do that, a scorby might end up in your bed tonight. How about we do jumping jacks as fast as we can like this? That is the opposite of subtle. <laughs> How about the word hippopotamus? Hippo? Hippo! That could work. Okay, I like it. If I need an attitude reminder, you guys just whisper the word hippopotamus and I'll remember. Here, Liam, see if this fits. Is everybody ready to go? Let's go, follow me. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. It's time to get to the nerd animals. I'm gonna be a green tail lemur and the elephants. Maybe we can ride the elephants. Miss King, can we ride them? We'll see. <laughs> What is your status? Over. Operation Ice Stagium UK Jump is a go! Over. Why are you so loud? Over. Sorry. Operation is a go. Over. I'm coming in. Over. We really gotta work on your walkie talk, bro. Sorry, I'm nervous. How much time do we have? Just about 30 minutes. Um, but Haddix, I'm worried. Worried about what? Oh, I don't know. What am I worried about? Just our livelihoods being ruined? A potential juvie record? <laughs> our lives were ruined two years ago, and you spent exactly none of that time behind bars. If you're worried about the animals, don't be. They'll be fine. I've researched the zoos, and they take very good care of their animals. They're gonna take good care of my wallet, too. <laughs> uh, trust me, it'll be worth it. Yeah, but what if, how do you know this will all work out? I'm your brother, Lee. I wouldn't lead you astray. This is gonna make us so much money to do and go wherever we want. Yeah, but what if I mess up or get caught or hurt an animal? Do you see this cheetah Maddox? It is too cute to be hurt. <laughs> Come here, man. I just want to let you know that you're doing a fantastic job, and I really appreciate it. I just, just let me worry about the loading and the pickup of the animals, and all you have to do is use that charming second child personality to, do, to get the animals alone and distract the interns from what we're really doing here. Think of it like I'm the villain, you're the spy. But we're helping the animals, right? By the way, where's your not a spy shirt? Oh, I... Liam! Liam! Oh! There you are! <laughs> oh, hey, Miss K. What's going on? Well, I just came to remind you of the schedule. Everyone was eating breakfast and was wondering what you were doing. I came to check on you and see what you were doing. Oh, uh, I'm okay, though. Thank you. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Me? I'm just, just getting some extra bonding time with the animals. These guys are so cute. <laughs> I'm glad to see you really are enjoying the animals. They are pretty special. Well, don't take too long. You'll need a good breakfast because we have a long day ahead. Awesome, I'll be there in just a few minutes. We'll try to say some bacon for you. <laughs> oh, bye. Bye, see you later. <gasps> Maddox, get in here now! Coming, coming! Oh, good job.
top row. I don't think she suspected a thing. Yeah, great. Just hurry up. I can feel my heart pounding. <sighs> I got it. I'll put him with the others. Make sure you meet back with me tonight. Okay, sounds good. <sighs> So yeah, up to that point, the only one who really told me anything about Jesus was my grandma. She was a really special lady. Oh hey, there he is. We thought maybe he oh, forgot about Rufus. Hey, I told him it was best plan possible for a guy to forget a meal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much impossible. Um, I just had to take care of something. Here you go. We are literally breaking bread together. No fancy breakfast today, but it's okay. I'm having a good attitude about it. Well, good for you. No hippopotamus today. What? Never mind! So, anyway, before you came in, Liam, we were talking about Jesus. I was kind of sharing my story. My grandma used to tell me about Jesus when I was little, and she had this kid's Bible that she would read to me. But I didn't really grow up going to church or anything. But in the past year, I'm going to a youth group with my friend that's really helped answer some of my questions about God. But there's still a lot I want to know. Well, I've accepted Jesus as my Savior, and I try to follow him every day. I don't know everything, but I may be able to help. What kind of questions do you have? Well, first of all, what's one heaven and hell? Are those real places? Yes, they're real places. Every person is made in the image of God. You meet all of us. That means we have a spirit to live forever, even after our bodies die. The Bible tells us that those who reject Jesus will go to hell forever. It's a terrible place of pain and separation from God. Those who believe in Jesus and follow him will get to be with him forever in heaven. Heaven is like the ultimate paradise. There's no sadness and no sin there. Wow. Heaven sounds pretty great, but what is sin? Sin is all the things that God goes against. Things like lying, hurting people, stealing, and even thinking bad thoughts. You know, in Romans it says, all fall short of the glory of God. That means no one is perfect. We all have sin. Also, sin is a lot in heaven. At all. So, does that mean everyone deserves to go to hell? That's right, but the story does not end there. It says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. God made a way to get rid of our sin because he loves us and wants to get to know us. Just think about that. The God who made the whole universe and everything in it and knows every little detail about us still loves us and wants to get to know us. And he wants us to to know him. That's amazing. Yeah, that does sound pretty amazing. But how do we know that God loves us? Like, I've heard people say that, but bad things still happen. Life is still hard sometimes. Uh, at least, my life has been hard sometimes. Where's the proof that he loves us? God doesn't promise that life to be easy. Bad things have been happening since sin came into the world. But the proof is that God gave his life for us. God sent his one and only son, Jesus, down to earth as a baby. He was born in a stable with a bunch of animals. He grew up and never sinned once. He was the only perfect person in all of history. I know this part. Jesus died on the cross. He was mistreated and abused even though he didn't do anything wrong. That's correct. Jesus grew up and had an amazing ministry for three years. He healed people, raised people from the dead, and did many other amazing miracles. He taught people about God. But there were enemies of God who did not want to follow God. And they plotted to have Jesus killed. But this was all part of God's plan because someone had to be punished for the sin in this world. Jesus took that punishment for us, even though he didn't deserve any of it. And it's not like Jesus was helpless either, right? No, he wasn't. If he was God, in human form, mm, he could have called down an army of angels to take him off that cross any second from then. But he decided to die and suffer for our sins instead. And the fact that he would do that, man, that's true proof that he loves us. It says in John 3, 16 through 17, For God so loved the world, He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. 
But don't forget the most important part. Oh, what's that? Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah, he came back to life. His body just from the tomb, and he went around appearing to his followers before going back up to heaven. It's stuck in historical fact. Facts, baby! Even death couldn't keep Jesus down. Wow, he's like more powerful than all the superheroes put together. Of course he is. He's God, and he offers salvation as a gift to anyone who wants it. Well, I think I want it. Oh. Um, I never really knew God cared about me this much until now. He does, man. He really, really does. Well, I see that now. But you gotta understand, life has been really hard for me these past couple of years. Uh, my parents uh, passed away in a car accident about two years ago. <laughs> I don't really have a family besides my older brother. We've survived so far, but it's been really tough. I haven't really trusted him since then either. But I want to learn to trust God, like you guys do. I don't want to try to figure out life on my own anymore. It just doesn't work. I'm so sorry, Liam. I had no idea. But I agree. I want to follow Jesus too. My life has been completely different than yours. I've had everything given to me. I pretty much get whatever I ask for. But it's just empty stuff. I want to follow Jesus and make my life count for something. It's a decision that every person has to make for themselves. Invite him to your and ask me the word of your life. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So just believe in your heart that Jesus is who he says he is and proclaim him the Lord of your life. Yeah. What do you do if you believe all of that? If you believe all that, then you can start by praying. Hmm. I don't really know how to pray, but I do believe in Jesus. Can you help us? Of course. Do you want to repeat after me? Sure. sure. Sounds good. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit that I'm a sinner. I believe that you rose again, conquering sin and death. I believe that you rose again, conquering sin and death. I believe that you died to save me from my sins. I believe that you died to save me from my sins. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. My life belongs to you. My life belongs to you. Please come into my heart and take over my life. Please come into my heart and take over my life. Thank you for loving me and saving me. Thank you for loving me and saving me. Help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. This is amazing. Now are you y'all are saved. This is so cool. <laughs> now you're part of the family, the family of God. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. <laughs> I like the sound of that. But this is wonderful. Y'all have just started the most wonderful journey. Confessing Jesus Lord and giving your life to him is only the beginning. Now you get to know him and learn to follow him and learn to hear him guiding you. You turn away from the person you used to be and become who he wants you to be. And his plans are way better than ours, that's for sure. Well, I'm excited, glad to be a part of the family. I'm sure I'll have a lot more questions, but thanks for helping me get started. <laughs> well, speaking of questions, does anyone want that last piece of bacon? <laughs> It's all yours, Liam. This is wonderful. I'm so happy for you both. Well, we will definitely talk about this more, but right now I have to go to a meeting. Do you guys mind cleaning up for me? Of yes. course. Clean the table? Uh, wash the dishes? Like a bus boy? Oh, give me a break. This is not what I signed up for. Hippopotamus. I mean, of course I would love to help. Give me the dish check and I'll get to work. Loving the helpful attitude, Addison. Got it. Wait, what? Gee, I'm trying to clean us. What? what? I'm helping. Even Miss Kate said so. <laughs> Grab the dishes and run. Right. Hey, this is a new and approved Addison, so you better get used to it. See, I'm helping. <laughs> Pretty sure you won't be 
getting any of that fancy breakfast here, so enjoy those memories. I'm sure that animals are hungry too. Here, you feed the zebras and giraffes today. I'll handle the watering. Fine. I just don't see how you guys can be so happy doing such filthy jobs that don't matter. I mean, we're cleaning out animal pens and dumping slop into buckets. Come on, Anderson. How many times do I have to tell you? If someone's acting pretty, suck up. Hippopotamus! Right here! Where? Oh, me. What did I do this time? Well, you are complaining a lot and are being pretty prideful. Oh. You need to show humility. Oh, uh, what's that? Humility is the opposite of pride. It's not thinking of ourselves is most important, but realizing that's God's what's most important. He made us in His image. He lets us wake up each day and He gave us our talent and abilities. We can't really take credit for anything. All the glory belongs to God. Oh, I see. I guess I was thinking that I was too good or too smart for this kind of work. Instead, I should have been thankful for the chance to serve. I should think about others instead of focusing on myself so much. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what God wants. That's humility. There are so many scriptures in the Bible that talk about how God hates pride. He wants us to be humble. Hmm. One of my favorite verses is in James. It says, Oh, fall short of the glory of God. That means no one is perfect. We all have sin. And God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Wow, God opposes the proud? That's scary. I don't want to be fighting against God. Hmm. Humility. I'll work on it, okay? And on that note, let's work on getting the animals fed. The giraffe looks really hungry. <laughs> Did you know the giraffes have four stomachs to digest their food, and they only drink water every few days because they get most of their water from their food? Really? No way. I had no clue. Yeah, and you can tell the age of the giraffe by the color of its spots. The darker the spots, the older the giraffe. You sure know a lot about giraffes for some reason. Well, I love animals, and I like to read a lot, and I like to know a lot. I'll say, you're like a walking encyclopedia. Okay, Shelby, what do you know about hyenas? Easy. Hyenas are very smart. They live in the clans up to 130 members. They're hunters as well as scavengers, and they have a powerful jaw that can crack a bone as thick as your wrist. Yikes. Yikes. Don't mess with hyenas. They're scary. Mm -hmm. Speaking of hyenas, was not hyena here yesterday? Yeah, she was. I wonder where she went. I know she wasn't ready to be released yet. Miss K told me that she had injured her leg in the wild and needed a couple more weeks to recover. Hmm. Um, maybe Miss K moves her to another pen. It's probably nothing to worry about. We should Wait! Get... One of the zebras is missing too. There used to be two of them. And a oh. cheetah. Oh yeah. There were two of them. Uh, maybe Miss K moves her too? It seems suspicious to me. I'm gonna go find Miss K and ask her. Wow, this is exciting. A real animal mystery. Exciting? What is wrong with you? Sorry, it's just that nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Do you think we'll become famous? Uh, oopsie. Oh. Uh. Oh. We have to use our detective skills to hunt down a pack of thieves. Maybe we'll pa pack, pack down a whole pack of thieves. We'll track them down like a pack of hyenas in the wilderness. And then we'll get them! Ah, oh, get off me, man! I didn't do it! Deep breaths, bro. It's just a joke. Oh, sorry. Could be a pretty cool story to tell, though. Know? Shelby said that some of the animals are missing? Yes. This we are zebras, cheetah, Whoa. and the hyena. <gasps> they should be right here! It looks like the lock has been tampered with. If this isn't how I usually wrap the chain, are you sure none of you open any of the pins? No, we fed our food with pins just like you told us to. None of us went in that pin. I definitely didn't. And there's no way she could have gotten out on her own. I know. The and the cheetah. I believe you. I'm not saying it's your fault. It's just nothing like this has ever happened before. Do you think? Is it possible? That someone stole them? Yes, that seems to be the only explanation. But who? How did they get in? Why did they steal the animals? Who was the one who got the dirt? The audacity! The Yeah. <laughs>
no good to panic. We need to think. We need to turn to the one who's in control. Um, who's in control? Uh, God. God's in control. Oh, oh yeah. God. God. Come over here and let's pray. He knows where the animals are and we need his help. Lord, we put our trust in you. Your word says in Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Lord, please direct our paths. Give us wisdom and discernment and show us how to get the animals back and where they are. Lord, let your justice prevail. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, let's go make a plan. Where's my fridge foot? I'm going to whack them. They're going to get a real punishment. Maddox! Maddox! All right! So I got the first two animals ready and loaded to go. Tomorrow I need you to... Maddox, I don't think this is such a good idea. Everyone's worried that so many animals are missing, and I think Miss K might call the authorities if anything else happens. Oh, don't be a scaredy cat. As long as you do your job, We'll be fine. No one will catch us. I just need three more animals and I can make my first shipment. I have zoos willing to pay top dollar for these quitters. We'll be set for a while. I... What? What is it? It's not right. What did you say? It's not right! What we're doing, we're stealing Maddox. Everybody knows stealing isn't right. No, you know what's not right? We don't have anyone to take care of us like other kids do. We're on our own. Ever since mom and dad died, you know who's been putting food on the table and making money? Me. When we lost the house, do you know who's helped provide for us? Me. And now that I, you're old enough to help out, who's whipping out? You. After all I've done for you. Uh, I'm not whipping out. I want to help. But this isn't the way. We're hurting other people and animals. Oh, I see what this is all about. They got into your heads, didn't they? You think those other people are your friends, don't you? They are my friends, and I don't want to hurt them. But it isn't just that, Maddox. They told me about Jesus, and I believe in him, and I want to follow him. He wouldn't want me to lie and steal, and mom and dad would have wanted that either. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what we're doing is wrong, and I'm asking you, please, let's just return the animals and come clean. We can ask these people for help, maybe even get a job here. Who knows? No! Do you think they would help us if they found out what we've done? They would probably kick you out of the program or report me to the police. It's too late, Liam. You're either all in or you're all out. It's not too late. You always have a choice. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. You care more about your new so-called friends than you do your own brother. That's well, not true. I never said that. You know what? I don't need you. You're out of the plan, Liam. But I wait. can do this by myself. Dear God, please help me. I don't know what to do. Help Maddox to believe in you and help me be a good brother and show him to do what's right and help me. I trust you, Jesus. Just please show me what to do. Please. Amen. Show me how to get through to my brother who needs you today. Show me who I can be if I proceed to follow your ways. Oh God, do you hear me? I'm calling out to you. Oh God, do you hear me? I'm searching for the truth.
So I know about it. What were they called again? Oh, the mystery gang. Precisely, Shelby. Never ceases to amaze me. Precisely, Shelby. And that's why I called you here. It's for my own detective group. The mystery chaps. Ugh, I just can't stand it anymore, you guys. We have to do something for those missing animals. That's what I've been saying. Mystery chaps. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. But, um, Miss K said to just wait and let the police handle it. We should listen. But what if the police don't find them in time? What if they get hurt? I'm so worried about them. Poor decisions. You know, I do feel bad for Miss K. She's in charge of this whole place. Wonder how stressful this must be for her. I know. She's so wonderful to the animals. They didn't deserve to be stolen. They had a good life here. Food, water, shelter, medical care. To get them ready to live in the wild again. And now who knows what's going to happen to them. <laughs> Don't tell them. No, you're not going to tell them. You're going to tell them. I did it! Okay? I did it! Huh? You did what exactly? I stole the animals! It was me! It was all my fault! Oh, uh, what are you talking about, Liam? Uh... I just, uh, you guys, you guys are gonna hate me. We're not gonna hate you. Just tell us what's going on. Um, okay. The only reason I joined the intern program was to get information so we could steal the animals. We're selling them to a zoo because, well, we need the money. We? Who's we? Uh, me and my older brother, Maddox. He, it was his idea, but... He's been working so hard to take care of us. Wow. And so I would let him know the schedule and when the animals would be alone. And then he would come and take them away. Wow. Is that now the spy shirt? You were totally a spy. You lied to us, bro. Uh, I know. I know. The more I got to talk to you guys and hang out with you guys, and the more I learned about God, the more I realized just how wrong it was. I tried to get Maddox to change the plan, but he wouldn't listen to me. Hey, it took a lot of courage to tell us. Thank you. It's the least I could do. I'm so, so 
so sorry. Could you ever forgive me? Of course we can, bro. I'm a friend. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank you guys so much. I really don't deserve it after all the pain I put you through. You know, Liam, it says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone's in his Christ, the old has passed away and the new has come. Behold the new. You've been a Christian for one day and you're already standing up for its right. I think that's pretty cool. Thanks. So, what should we do now? Um, well, I can take you to where the missing animals are. But, please, I don't want my brother to go to jail. I mean... I don't know what he would do if he found out it was me. If you take us there, I think we can handle it. We've got your back. Thanks. Yep. So, so wow. We really get to be crime fighter detectives? So I didn't put this on for nothing? This is awesome! We're a Brave Adventures rescue team! I don't know. I want to help, but I'm scared. Don't be afraid. We're on the side of justice with the Lord. Yeah, it's time to be brave and fight for what we know is right. How can you guys be so brave? I'm literally shaking. God is the true source of my confidence. I can all things through Christ who strengthens me. So you have to give your brother a chance to come clean and get the animals back from this cave. You know, Liam, the closer you get to God, the more it gives you strength to do hard things. So, how do you get closer to God? You can do that by spending time with Him. It's God, and you can do that by spending, by reading the Bible. It's God's word to us, and it tells us who God is and how He wants us to live our lives. But when you read it, you have to obey what it says to do. Just like it says in James 1.22, but be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Hmm, you know, that makes sense. If you read it and don't do anything about it, then it has no point. Now well. try it. When you obey God, it shows that you love Him. You can get closer to God by praying. He's a number one homie. So talk to God. Thank Him for things. And ask, pray for other people and things going around in the world. Prayer is so powerful. God wants to hear from you. So, the more time you spend with God, the closer you get to Him? That's a good way to think of it. Hmm. So, you can talk to Him throughout the day, no matter where you are. So, what about church? That's another good way to grow in God. If you find a community of believers that are committed to following Jesus just like you, then you can help each other out. Hmm. There are so many scriptures in the Bible that talk about help. That one of my favorite verses is in Hebrews 10. It talks about how a city that is set on a mountain cannot be hid. You are the light of the world, and people need to see that light. Hmm. So, it's so important to surround yourself with friends and family who can bring you closer to God. Hmm. I'm sure my parents will want to go to church with me. When I get home, I'll find one. Oh, I just wish that Maddox believed in God. Oh, if I think I'll never get involved with a community of other believers as long as he's in charge. Well, how about we go talk to him? Hmm. We have a mission. Mystery chaps. Dude, let's have some self-control with the mystery chaps. The accent is a tad unhinged. Sorry. <laughs> well, can we pray for him before we go? Of I think course. that's a great idea. Okay. <sighs> Dear God, I pray that Mattis can come to find you. He's been searching for something for a long, long time. And since mom and dad died, he's changed. And I, I miss him when he was happy. He might seem a little tough, but he's got a great heart. So please forgive him and me for any of the trouble we've caused. And please help the animals to get back to the refuge safely. And no matter what, thank you for letting us pray and for giving us strength. Amen. Amen. No matter what comes my way, in the darkest night or in the brightest day, I can stand firm and pray through Christ who strengthens me, strengthens me.
with the mystery chaps. <laughs> okay, guys, it's this way, come on. <laughs> guys, this way. Not too far now. Are you sure? I think we walked about five miles already. My feet hurt. Come on, Addison. I'm sure Liam knows where he's going, and it has not been five miles. I don't know if I can trust his sense of direction. I think we should have turned back there. You know, where we saw the sign? Hippo, hippo, hippo. Hippo, what did I do this time? You aren't being very cooperative. Oh, uh, what's that? Cooperation, it's working together as a team instead of starting arguments. You've never even been here before, and Liam has, so we should just cooperate with him and let him lead the way. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Liam. Oh, it's fine. Okay, guys, it's around the corner. All right, just through these weeds. Oh, what did he say? Oh, yeah, around the sticks. Through the corner. He's a bomb. Yes. All right. Oh, this is it. A secret lair. Wow, a real secret lair. You see a little person. So big. So, what are we going to say? Uh, I can't go in there. I can't let him see me. You guys have to go on your own. I'll Got it. Talking. Come on. Mr. Chaps on three. One, two, three. Go. Uh. Ow. Oops. Um, hello? Anybody home? I don't think he's here. Let's get the animals and get out of here. Hey! <laughs> What are you kids doing here? Oh, hello. I'm Shelby. This is Addison and Mason, and we work at the Calhart Animal Refuge, where these animals were taken from. And we don't want to cause any trouble, but we really need to get them back so that they can continue recovering, so that they can be reintroduced back to the wild. Do you think you can really come in here and take back the animals? Absolutely not. Okay. If you knew my circumstances, you wouldn't have even come here. I need them. I need to provide for myself with my basic needs and my food. So I have to sell them to the zoos. And because I have no one to take care of me like you kids do. The one, and the one person that has always been on my side has abandoned me now. So you guys can just get out before I make you get out. No! Either you turn the animals in or we turn you in. It's not too late for a second chance, Maddox. How do you know my name? Because I told them. Liam, once a betrayer, always a betrayer. I didn't betray you or abandon you. I want to help you, but this... So you brought them here. I thought I told you to stay away until the job was done. The job is done. What you're doing is wrong, and you know it's wrong. If you keep going on with this, we're going to have to turn you in. And I can't let that happen because well, I care about you. Well, Liam, you know what? I don't know what else to do. 
Look, I know you feel stuck, but stealing and lying like this, it's not honoring to mom and dad. It's not what they would have wanted, no matter how hard life gets. And I know you're angry at everything right now, but you don't have to hold on to that anger. God loves you, Maddox. He, he's in charge of everything. And he, I know, I know that if we just turn to him and follow him, he'll provide for us. He's faithful. Wow, Liam, I've never heard you talk like that before. So confident. <laughs> well, I didn't have Jesus before, but I've just started to follow him, and I can already tell things are making a difference. So, uh, huh. Jesus is God's son, and he loved us so much that he died for us, Maddox. And get this, three days later, he rose from the dead. He's alive today, and he wants us to, like, know him and he offers the option of salvation to anyone who wants it but yeah the chance to live forever in heaven instead of hell the chance to know god personally but we can't get rid of our sin on our own though we need jesus you're right i remember this mom and dad believed in jesus and they taught us about jesus and how he came to earth took the sins upon himself for all sins I'm too young to remember it, but I remember it now. I guess I was trying to do everything for so long by myself, I kind of just forgot he was there. Huh. It's not too late to get back on track, Maddox. Jesus is waiting for you with open arms. He still loves you. Mm -hmm. I don't deserve it. <sighs> That's why it's called grace, man. God gives it to us even when we don't deserve it. You're right. I am so sorry for the trouble I've caused, especially to you, Liam. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I forgive you, but I think God is the one you really need to talk to. Well, I haven't talked to him in a long time, and I don't know really what to say. Um, well, just tell him you're sorry, and that you want him to be Lord of your life. It doesn't have to be fancy, just be you. Yeah, um... Okay. Dear God, I I don't even know where where to really start. I'm sorry that I have turned away from you. I believe in you, and I believe in the fact that you sent your son to die on the cross to save me from my sins. Please forgive me. And I want to thank you for my brother's friends that they that he has learned so much about you through them. I may not hold all the answers for the, or the, I don't know what the future may hold for me, but I want to trust you more, Jesus. Help me to trust you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that was pretty good, bro. I'm happy for you. Oh, this is so beautiful. Y'all are going to make me cry. <laughs> there y'all are. Well, I've been looking all over for y'all. What are you guys doing way out here? Miss K? How did you find us? <laughs> You're not that hard to track. Wait, the missing animals from the refuge! Oh my goodness! <gasps> yeah, we found them! Are they alright? Yeah, they're all fine. They're safe. Oh, praise the Lord! How'd you find them? Wait, who are you? Um, yeah. Miss K, I can explain. Uh, this is my brother, Maddox. Um, we made a plan to steal the animals one by one from the refuge. We were gonna sell them to a zoo because we need the money. I only joined the intern program to get information on when the animals would be alone, and then we would steal them. Stealing protected animals? That's a pretty serious crime. Yeah. It wasn't his fault, it was mine. Ever since I lost my previous job, I needed some way to make some sort of income, and I thought this was the only way. I was just gonna sell them to the zoo. But God had a different plan. I rededicated my life to Jesus thanks to these courageous and brave kids of yours. So you can, you can take back the animals and give me the punish I punishment I deserve. But whatever you do, please do not punish Liam. So you four came out all this way to confront him and get the animals back? <laughs> yes, and I ended up sharing God's love and getting my brother back. 
This is amazing. Jesus can set anyone free. All you have to do is choose him. <laughs> That's why Jesus told us in Matthew 28, 9 through 20. Therefore, go into the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them all that I have commanded to do. And surely I'm with you always to the end of the age. Yes, the news about Jesus is too good to keep to ourselves. That's right. Jesus told his disciples, the city that is set on a mountain cannot be hidden. People need to see that light. <laughs> the truth will set you free. I think you've all seen a wonderful example of that today. Mm -hmm. And you know, Maddox, I'd be willing to hire you, you know, if you want to work with the animals. <laughs> really? I would love that. Man, this has been the best day ever. <laughs> Probably would have to do a background check, though. <gasps> <laughs> but seriously, though, I think we're all happy to have this part of God's plan. <laughs> I've been set free, my chains have been broken. I no longer follow the darkness, I follow the light. Jesus saved me, and now I can say. Chains of bitch. 